Hello everybody, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. The stamp sets I used for this card are All That You Are. This stamp set is for Tyron. And I'm going to be using the big flower image. I'm also using Wonderful Moments. And all I'm doing is using them little spots there. Just for behind the flowers here. And this is a personal set. This isn't um, stamping up, but I need the sentiment. Hope you feel better soon. So I'm using that. I got that from an independent uh, craft shop, which is now shut. So that was our one and only place we could buy decent stamps. But it's now closed. Shame. Anyway, get started with this. You need a card base, or I used a card base, a white card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, and folded in half. Two pieces of white card stock of five and a, five eighths by three and seven eighths. A piece of DSP. I'm using the Ginga Gala paper, um, only because it's the only blue I've got balmy blue I've got um, on the in colours you know rest I've got is well I haven't got any balmy blue but this is the only one I've got so I'm using this right I've already cut out the flower because you have to cut it out by hand there is no um, uh, the eyes to go with this but I haven't coloured it in. I thought I'd save that for colour it in with you. But we will bring up the um, big shot and cut a fancy pattern out of the white cardstock. Now I have got these dies. And on this one I used this big die here. And I used that edge, but because it came in pretty thin there, it just nicked it at the side. So this time, I am going to use. Oh, I was just going to have it like this, and just use this. Just have it like that on the bottom. So that's what I'm going to do. So. We'll bring the big shot up and chop some of this white card up. Let's get you out. No, out. That's better. See what I'm doing now. So, what I did was put a white piece of card down there. Now, when I did it last time, all I did was put this on like that. But like I said, it came in too thin and nicked it, and I didn't like that. So, what I'm going to do is cut it like this. Hopefully that is straight. I just want a fancy edge bit. And that's what I've got. A nice, like a bookend really. And then what it will do is I will use this card piece as a dot, as a guide, put my stamping up uh, DSP on there, 
and put this on the other end. And there we have our guard for where to stick the DSP, which is a tad, I think. Oh no. So let's do this. So I'm just going to place some glue on there. And stick that looks like I might have to trim this down a little bit. And there, that should be five and five eighths. Grown up. And that we will eventually stick on there. But first, we've got to colour our flower in. So. To do that, I have got all these colours here, so I'm going to do the using light balmy blue. I'm not going right to the top. Oh, I'm doing this. I don't want to go too high up. Oh, and this. Colouring these pods. Now with my dark balmy blue, I went up a bit in the bottom. And then with a bit light night and navy, I just went just a little bit. I went, I haven't done this before in blues. I'm just going around the edge, and then I'm going on the inside for the center. I'm just, and I'm going to. Take that harsh line off the night and over there we are. Uh, night and navy, I need to just put a line, dark line, in the centre of that bud. And now I've got rich raspberry <coughs> light and I'm just colouring in these little flowers. I 
if it's supposed to be blossom they're out in thin air they're not attached or anything leaves we're using um, what's this old olive let's color the leaves in This idea came from a YouTube channel I watched. It wasn't a Stampin' Up person. In fact, it wasn't a Stampin' Up product she used. It was um, Stamp by Me, I think. Her name's Tony. She is a create and craft demonstrator on the telly. And I liked it and I thought, hmm, how can I do that? And this is my version of the card that she done. I'm quite pleased with it. Right, now a bit of mossy meadow for the bottom of the leaves. As you know I like doing this to my leaves. Don't matter, don't matter what kind of leaves they are, they all get the same treatment. Putting a little shadow under there, and which I never got out. Daffodil delight, dark, just for these um, stamens. And then we need, which I also never got out, crumb cake and soft suede. Right, crumb cake we're going to colour in the branch. And what I did was with a uh, soft suede, I kind of just put some like, highlights where the wood, it's not all wood, it's the same colour brown. So, just Yeah. 
and that will sit on there. That looks quite nice. But before I set it on there, on dimensionals, and I never got any more out. Let's see what I can do. Let's put these on dimensionals. It's not want not, as I say. Put that there. Oh, that's too big. Put that there. Might as well put that there. Just need a little bit. Just cut a bit of this off. That's nice. Right, now with that, like that, we are going to get our little dots from um, Wonderful Moments and our balmy blue ink and we're just going to put some dots just where some of the leaves and flowers sit. Let's put one there and then one there. A bit more there. I think that's fine. Don't want too many on here. She says, adding another one. Yeah, that'll do fine. Clean that off. So Let's stick this on our didn't have the lid on this so I think it um dried up a little bit. Take all the backings off the flower. To check my cupboard and see if I've got any more large dimensionals. I think I have. And then just place that back where the dots were. So now we've just got a sentiment. I have got a piece, I think this is half an inch, it is. And I'm going to stamp my sentiment. Hope you feel better soon, I think it says. Yeah. I'll stamp this in black. stamps really nice and I'm going to put that 
What did I do with the last one? Ah. Oh, I'll put it from there. So, straighten that out. And we're going to pop that there. So I just want a dimensional, have to be a small one. There. And then some glue on the rest of it. leaves us to do is put some gems on the inside oh, and the inside some gems and put the inside card I'm sure I've got a sentiment to stamp inside I just remembered about it so I need to go look for it it's not a stamping up one Gems. And I think I stuck. Oh, I stuck gold ones on that one. And this one I'm sticking silver. And it's five. Right. So we'll put one there, one, all right, also I can't put one down there, let's just stick that there. And I'm going to put a little cluster of three here. That's probably won't like it and end up taking them off. finished card hope you like that I'm sorry you've been out all the time let's get you in so you can see it well, I hope you like it if you do give us a thumbs up um, if you like to see more of my video please subscribe and press the notification bell next to it and you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thank you for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.